الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of درود السلام سيدنا أبو دارضا رضي الله تعالى عنه narrates that the beloved and blessed Rasul صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم said on the day of judgment I will intercede for the one who recites Duru Sharif upon me ten times in the morning and ten times in the evening. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Once a youth came up to me and told me that he grew his beard due to listening to the sunnah inspiring speeches which I delivered in Rancha, lion area of Babul Madina, Karachi. He further said that his mother did not let him keep a beard. She always threatened him saying, if you don't shave your beard, I'll commit suicide by eating poison. This youth is not the son of a kafir, meaning disbeliever. He is a son of a Muslim. His so-called Muslim mother tried to prevent him from following the sunnah by threatening to kill herself. In other words, she said, My beloved son, shave your beard or I will jump into the fire of hell. Alas, the so-called Muslims are so far away from the sunnah. Whether it is the ijtima of Dawud the Islami, whether it's a call to the five daily prayers, we sometimes busy ourselves with worldly activities, and this is the weakness of Iman that we have nowadays. Some people say that good programs are also broadcasted on television. It might be true, but let me say in actual fact, it is the television that has brought about a terrifying storm of bad manners and has thrown the Islamic society into the deep hole. Meaning the deep hole of destruction. It is said that once a professor conducted a program which was broadcasted on PTV, which is a Pakistani television program. It was a question and answer session. Someone asked the professor a question regarding the beard. He replied, if you keep a beard, then it's fine. And if you don't, then it's also fine. There is no sin if you don't keep the beard. On the basis of this misleading, he replied, some parents began to strictly prevent their grown-up sons from having a beard. They gave such remarks as, those belonging to Dawud the Islami are too strict. A highly learned professor came on the television and declared that it's not a sin to shave the beard. But you say it, it's a sin. The misleading reply given by an ignorant professor who had no true religious knowledge at all negatively changed the mind of pe many people. So this is just one example that's been given. And if we look at children's programs, for, for example, uh, don't want to mention any cartoon names, but we see the bad habits that they teach children. Whether it's violence, whether it is hitting, whether it's disturbing someone, or uh, you know where I'm coming from. So it's important that we teach our children the right type of programs, like Madhini Channel or Madhini Cartoons. These, Alhamdulillah, the Majlis of Dawud Islami has been making beautiful cartoons in the sense of teaching the Sunnah of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you can go and access this on the internet and watch these programs. Even nowadays we have these smart TVs, we can go on to buy... The, the program itself and then type in Dawud Islamic cartoons and hopefully you'll be able to get Gulam Mustafa on TV 
And he'll be te- teaching your children the etiquettes of giving salam. Eating the food, drinking water, the glass, how to drink water. The, all these sunnahs will be taught and your son you know, will be telling you when the glass of water is on the table, he'll pick that glass of water up and he'll start drinking according to the sunnah. You'll be shocked where he's learned that from. Obviously, these habits have been taught from the TV program. And this is where we are lacking in knowledge. And this is what happens. Our character becomes bad because of games and wrong type of TV television programs. And we indulge in dramas. And you see what happens to husband and wife at home. When the husband's at work, working hard day and day night. And the wife's too busy watching dramas. And the story is about, you know, a, a guy having an affair going behind his, her, her wife's back. And these are being indoctrinated in the, the wife's mind. That's say when my husband comes home, he's going to have it now. It's all the influence from the television. And the husband, Vachara, comes home after a hard day's work and he gets a stick from his wife because of watching wrong type of dramas. So may Allah give us the ability to refrain watching these type of dramas. Last and final, we need to do uh, a fight with our nafs and shaitan. So dear Islam brothers and viewers of social media, did you see how cleverly Islam is being distorted and undermined can we do nothing for our religion, Islam? We can at least get concerned and feel sadness in our heart due to these conspiracies against our religion. Thereby, and earn lots of reward, inshallah. Our Madri movement against nafs and shaitan will continue. This is what should I be our motto. Yeah? So Madri movement against our nafs and shaitan will continue, inshallah, azza wa jal. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al-mursaleen jazallahu anna muhammad al-mahu ahlu ya allah accept our salat al-asal in your court ya allah azza wa jal we've listened to a short dars ya allah a reminder for us ya allah to correct our manners by watching the correct sort of things on the television like for example, Madri channel, Ya Allah kids, Dawud Islami, Madri cartoons. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, teach our children, give his ability to teach our children according to the sunnah of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah take away this negativity in us. Ya Allah these bad habits from us. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, bless all the Muslims around the globe. Protect us from this pandemic. Make the situation of lockdown easy for us take away this lockdown take away the curfew in Kashmir Ya Allah and Palestine and all the Muslim countries that are in tribulation Ya Allah being oppressed Ya Allah remove this oppression give us good leadership give us peace and tranquility and remove bad uh, bad corrupt leaders Ya Allah Ya Allah if I made any mistakes in my short dars I ask for forgiveness Ya Allah enlighten our hearts and give us a true understanding of the deen. Ya Allah, bless our parents, brothers and sisters, those who have requested for dua. Ya Allah, accept all this and see dua for the sake of Karbala. Those who are suffering in the hospitals, Ya Allah, like many names, Ya Allah, be given to the majlis. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give them shifa. Ya Allah, Azzawajal, give us good health and give us death with iman. Sallallahu ala nabiyyil ummiyyi wa alihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatan wa salaman alayki ya Rasulullah Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen